What is up, my beautiful people? Oh, please, just don't crash on me. Oh, good man, no worries. You know, this is the fourth DLC where you can see a big ship on the game's starting screen. I'm kinda getting sick of that. Next DLC starting screen should be soldiers enjoying cigarettes. Also, I will be giving away two copies of Trial of Allegiance DLC. All you have to do is subscribe and head out to gleam.io, where you verify it and there will be other ways to enter as well, like following me on various social media. And if you don't win this, time I'll be running giveaways on every video that covers this DLC so watch out for that. As you can see with the new DLC few changes were made like Big Ecuador, Arriba Ecuador, but for now we will be sticking to good old Paraguay. You know what I will say what I think, I feel like Paraguay is just like Slovakia of South America and Bolivia is just like Hungary, they had their own little trianon but over the years and you know we have the top of the Chaco war. If you look up the Wikipedia page for this war, it's just nuts. Basically we have reclaimed this little land, that's the equivalent of Slovakia getting itself back. And also can we just get over this shit already? And you know we still start with two divisions and six loyal people that will be instantly recruited into this army. And the biggest thing is that we have generals, oh my. Okay I have lied, our biggest thing is our great focus tree. Like if you are feeling suicidal go ahead and do this focus and declare these wars i'm sure it will end up well but you know i will play it a little bit more safe go for a one military factory and i feel immensely lucky today i will try the paratrooper strat again and hey if one military factory in 35 days wasn't good enough we can just do it again oh no i definitely haven't seen this coming yes rafael franco is my beloved paraguayan leader and it ultimately promoted him to to field marshal so that's pretty nice I guess and we have just somehow magically summoned 120,000 people into our army and hey look this event is literally about us nobody cares what happens to AUSA and now would you believe that that we can do another 35 day focus for one military factory this shit is just too fucking good now after getting three military factories it's time to reform our lands and do some communistic bullshit I guess. Hey I don't want to alarm you but Bolivia just switched names and leaders into this hetman. I'm coming for his fucking fedora. With all new focus streets kinda hard to get civilian factories so I'm happy for any that I get. Socialist revolution in Bolivia? The big hetman rules everything that's the new form of socialism. Also I would almost forget to buy my boy Karl Marx with 35 dollars. Now I'm slowly securing our socialist state and I just realized the confederate soldiers fought in charcoal war let's fucking go is Paraguay the new land of cotton after all I mean we are quite down in the south so from the charcoal war we just gain insane offices and we are in desperate need of new generals yeah level 4 generals just like that that's what we literally need shit is even happening in Brazil god help us all okay another update on Bolivia I feel like this guy might might be a German and is related to George W. Bush but I'm not on 100% sure. So after a year of preparation and enough rage building in our Paraguayan blood it's time for revenge and take out Bolivia once and for all. And now it's time to make South America interesting again. And the Bolivians kinda look like they are not really wanting to defend their homeland. Maybe I can give them a little reason. Okay first paradox drops were successful can we capitulate them and yes this was the easiest war you have ever seen we have truly won great victory but now where is the deport the bolivians focus this dude rafael franco is the greatest so we will make him a permanent leader and hope that he will remain a good ruler forever right hey no lying here when i say that i feel like that we could take on chile already yes we need access to the sea because that's the most important thing ever like look at the economies that are struggling and that are flourishing like look at somalia they have big coast and a thriving pirate economy not gonna lie today i feel very lucky okay if we can destroy the army while it's stuck like this 
Everything should be alright. Step Paraguay, what are you doing? Truly magnificent development, but shit, we need to hurry up. You know, this seems kinda unfair, like out running a wheelchair guy or out seeing the blind man. Totally brutal war and brutally total war. It really is. Oh, I love this event. A new president in Uruguay. And this bitch's motherfucker just looks like my cousin. Just wait till I show this to him. After closing those pockets and resupplying a little bit, it's time to just snake through the whole Chile. Once you initially break them, it's very easy to conquer the whole Chile. Just getting through the north is the hard part. And you know me, I have done it. Nice, slowly, and while chilling. You know, I got a feeling that this shit is quite quite fair. I feel like you know what we are about to do next. That's right, lies I fair. In a communist state, God is punishing the Chileans for resisting me too much. Hey, we can be homies with Brazil for now. And hey, why not to add some more modifiers to our great leader? Bro is now literally Daddy Stalin, Spanish speaking version. You know, I have been waiting for this moment just in case so that nobody gets guaranteed and we can just do some funny shit in South America I guess. Triple alliance, more like triple alliance when I'm done with y'all. As yes, nobody gets called in and we will be just aggressively pushing all over the whole Argentina. Oh no and I didn't expect this but I wanted to continue this war, this is some fucking bullshit. Like we have gained one new state but all of our gains were just taken away from us. But it's like never mind, we can do this shit. And hey while I'm in invading Argentina. Let me tell you few things in Spanish that I have learned over a year. Me gusta cerveza, yo fumo mucho. Me gusta cigarrillos de camel. Yo hablo un poco español y puta madre. And now Buenos Aires is nicely empty and that means it's Buenos Dias for Argentina. Like yeah, getting your... Ah, uh, never mind. They just spawned a guy without any, and I mean any, organization. And I feel like this is kinda fair but they have taken away my... Argentinian communist waifu can't have shit in South America. And hey, did you think that I would forget all the triple untanned members? No, 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 that's not how we roll, baby. Oh, curva. Okay, so I have restarted this shit and we will try a little trickery. I have baited them out of capital. Will this be enough? Oh, fuck, man, this was a close call. And you know, moving forward, I'm pretty worried to invade Brazil. I just worry that they will join the allies. Y'all guys making me feel like I'm the bad guy here. Now, now I know that we need to hold this province, yes, but we will still declare the war. So you see, now I have just learned this shit. We do be cooking, I repeat, we do be cooking with this huge ass Brazilian encirclement in the south. How do you feel about losing 90% of your male population, Brazil? I mean, it had some perks because then you get all the bitches if you survive. Now in order to save our manpower, we need to sacrifice few. Argentinian horse riders. Seems like we need to finish this war the good old way. Hey, you need to drag your dick around the coast and everything will be fine. Like, please, just capitulate already. I want to have a nice football match after we are done with this war to bring our people together. You know, now fighting in Brazil isn't, you know, that hard, but it's just annoying. Mainly because of the rainforest bullshit here, but it's just like fighting in Egypt. You are going up the Nile. Oh, curva, watch out, Ecuador. Peru is coming for you. I will avenge y'all when you lose this war. War in South America. I mean, I don't want to spoil anything, but I have done a little warring myself here. And you know, my mission for now is very simple. We just want to steal every Brazilian child ever. Imagine being Japanese and not wanting to move into this cursed fucking land. I'm not really sure if this is bugged or something, but we do not have one hundred factories. Rip Bozo should have not used those airpods while reading. You know this? This was kinda mean. Like take your core but don't exile them to Galapa 
Vagas. They can study those Darwin's birds for eternity. Also another great thing about Paraguay is that you can invite any of these advisors and get such a great bonus on doctrine. Domestic violence? Nah. Domestic aircraft industry. Me after vibing enough, decided that it's time to annex the whole Brazil and then disband all the divisions for manpower. And yes, I feel like we will never have again a problem with this. This might be a little overkill invasion, but we need to avenge Ecuador and kill this bitch ass bald fish looking motherfucker. And as you can see, we are quite nicely ready for this little war. And like my point is to use my suicidal paratroopers to get to Lima or Ligma. But yeah, you see, we have broken them very, very easily. Avenging Ecuador doesn't mean that we will give them their shit back. Hey, and you know me, I'm gonna go for another invasion that will be very overly complicated. But at the end of the day, we can get away with this shit. Yeah, this shit is just too fucking easy. Naval invasions are navally invading. And this is just beautiful, like, what else can I say? Other than, it's so over for the Venezuelans. You know, I'm just taking a lesson from US page book on how to get more oil. So we have oiled up the Venezuelan leader and just took over his country. Me, I have become just like British Empire. I see a random island and I just take it. Now, I might do something more risque, but there can be only one Franco and it's not Franco. Francisco. It's Rafael Franco. Hey, nothing too crazy, we are just conquistados from the west. Hey, and you know me, I'm just very happy when a nice massacre comes together. As our ancestors came to America, we are coming the same to Europe. Now that my naval invasion is succeeding here, I was able to get some planes in and my people are well supplied. Well, not really. But the true naval invasion can begin. Yeah, you were a great distraction. Thank you Argentinians and Chileans. Sheesh man, the north is kinda unprotected. I wonder how they will be able to repel this little invasion. Now my whole invading force can just force themselves to Spain. And yes, we are quite used to fighting under bullshit circumstances. Oh, I just love how cursed this timeline truly is. Like I would really love to see history books, how mind bending they would be, just to explain how the fucking Paraguay captured Madrid in 1944. This is what Spanish Civil War was about, Paraguay versus nationalist Spain. Direct rule from Asuncion, bitch. Oh, hello there, Salazar. You have a pretty nice country there. It would be such a shame if somebody just invaded you through Spain. I can't just imagine someone doing this. You know, I have seen few failed details here and there, and we just have to show these amateurs how it's fucking done. So yes, strap in everyone. Paraguay is gonna liberate Europe from fascism. And it's going pretty nicely before the Germans turn up here of course. So yeah, we will see if we can liberate Europe and help everyone to get rid of these pesky German invaders. Hey and look, first nuke will be dropped on the German heads by Paraguay as the truly atomic age. And so we are slowing down a bit, that's something that I don't like, but I'm sure we will prevail. You know, out of frustration for losing my whole air force, I'll be randomly nuking France, fuck it. They deserve all my nukes into their faces. It's quite a hell trying to push, like in 1945. And Denmark declared war on Germany and somehow that means that I'm also at war with Japan. You know, it would be quite nice if I wasn't the only one who was doing shit. Ayo, hey, I don't know how, but my communist Argentinian waifu is here. This isn't approved by Javier Millet. Fuck you, Peter and your vicious France. I will bomb you back to the Stone Age. Paris will be one big cave. It's like now or never. We have to execute our own little D-Day perfectly because having just one front with the Germans isn't enough. It fucking never is enough and I can't even see if we have landed or what the fuck is happening on the ground. And it seems like that our invasion was a success. And up, up, hooray to the Germany. Yes, we just need to push and push and push even if it will cost us a lot of equipment, manpower and mental health. This is how this bullshit is done. Get the fuck out of here. The Benilux is a rightful paragraph 
Paraguayan land. I'm a straight up gangster, look at me how I'm killing it in the Reich. Like nobody expects Paraguayan naval invasion. Yeah, so Paraguayan patience just reached boiling point. You know, I am the one who paragiats all over the German Reich. So basically, I feel like we will be winning the race for Berlin, like it wasn't even a race to begin with. I will oil up this city before I enter it. It is time to say, Ich bin ein Berliner. You may not like this, but this is what peak Paraguay looks like. Call me Mac Arthur because I'm tactical nuking all of these hoes. Ayo, what the fuck? Argentina engages in aggressive foreign policy? Did they just capture Vladivostok? Oh, I love the smell of nuked Kosovo in the morning. In this war, I have lost all my Brazilian manpower, which is very fitting for Paraguay. Also, this is the only true division of Germany you will ever need. So I got to say that I have enjoyed this new DLC so far. I would say that pretty good focus trees were added to the game. And I feel like we as Paraguay are eating pretty damn good. Like damn, this wasn't that hard to achieve. Also tell me in the comments what other paths you want to see me cover or you have played or your thoughts on this DLC. Like the video and don't forget to enter the giveaway by subscribing and verifying it on Gleam.io everything will be in the description and in the pinned comment. Be sure to watch out because I'll be covering more shit from South America in my next videos. I'm back on my grind baby. And as always big thanks goes to my channel members their names are in the description or on the screen right now. And a special thanks goes to Razonon, that one dude and Henning for being the highest channel members.